recording will demonstrate how to add optional data to a passenger name record, PNR, also known as a booking file, and will include how to assign seats using a seat map, add special service requests, other supplementary information, notepads, and associated and unassociated remarks. To display a seat map on a participating airline, there are a number of options. You can either select Assign Edit Seat Assignment option from the PNR drop down menu in the terminal window or click on the Edit PNR icon. Or you can type in the command hash seat in the terminal window, which is one of the pre configured travel port quick commands. However, the easiest is simply to click on the class of booking within the itinerary. There are two options available. You can either select a seat from the seat map or you can choose airline assigned which will allow the airline to assign the seat for the passenger. There is a key down at the bottom to show seats that are selected, available, blocked or handicapped. To select the seat Simply hover the mouse over the seat that you wish to assign and left hand mouse click. The seat number is now shown next to the passenger name. To complete this we click on apply. We can do the same to choose the seat on the return. There may be times where a fee is charged to book the seat. This will be shown where applicable. Once we've selected the seats again click on apply. To view the selected seats in the itinerary, click on Star SD or Display Seat Data. If you wish to change or cancel the assigned seat, bring up the seat map again. If you wish to select a different seat, again hover the mouse over the seat that you now wish to assign and click. If you wish to delete the assigned seat, click on the X icon next to the passenger name. Again, to finalise this, click on Apply. A warning message will now appear to advise you that not all travellers have a seat assigned, asking if you want to continue without selected seats or cancel and select more seats. We will continue without selecting seats in this example. I'm now going to show you how to add special service requests. You can access special services from the PNR drop down menu or from the edit PNR icon. We select Create Edit Special Services. The screen has two tabs. The first is for Special Service Requests, SSRs, and the second is for Other Service Information or OSIs. Traveller names and flight details are shown. To add a special service, select the Traveller and Flight segment the request is for. The default selects the first traveller and first segment. If the request is for more than one traveller and multiple flights, you can use the control or shift keys in combination with the mouse to select the required travellers and flights. Select the SSR type code from the drop down. Once you select the SSR type, a list of SSR codes will then be presented. You can then scroll down to find the appropriate request. In this example, we shall select a diabetic meal. Once the SSR type and SSR code has been selected, we can then click on Add. If you select an SSR code that requires free text, for example, a wheelchair request, the free text box will become white and you can add the required free text. And then click on Add. We can now click on Save to complete the action. To display the special service request in the PNR, select Display SI in the PNR viewer. If the special service request is no longer required, access the special service screen again, select the passenger and request type that is no longer required. You can use Control or shift keys in combination with the mouse to select the required SSRs if there's more than one. Click on Remove and then select Save to complete. We can now see that the diabetic meal has been removed. You can add Advanced Passenger Information or APIS in a similar way. Select Create Edit Special Services. Select the traveller name and the flight. 
and then select SSR Type Miscellaneous. You can then choose the required SSR code and then complete the information on the form. Once the information has been added, select Add and Save. OSIs can be added here too by selecting the Other Service Information tab. You will also need to click on Add to activate the list of airlines. The vendor codes will show according to the itinerary booked. You also have the option to select all airlines. Select the airline and add the required data in the OSI field. Once the information is complete, you can then click on Save. As with SSR, the OSIs can be displayed in the PNR by clicking on Display SI. OSIs can be removed from the PNR. You do this by selecting the OSI you wish to remove and select Remove and Save. I'm now going to take a look at adding PNR remarks. You can add various remarks to the PNR by selecting Create Edit PNR Remarks from the PNR drop down menu or from the Edit PNR icon. There are a number of different tabs to choose from. You can add a customer ID number, a review booking, an associated and unassociated itinerary remark, notepads and invoice remarks. Simply click on the tab you require and add the data. I'm going to show you how to add a review booking and then a notepad. I'll begin with a review booking. First select the review booking file tab. The first step is to click on the Add button. When adding a new review booking, the system will pre-populate some of the boxes with data, such as tomorrow's date, Q12, and your current pseudo city code. You can overtype these if required. Optionally, you can add a category and free text. We'll change the date and time. We'll leave the queue as 12. And now click Add. You must save to complete this action. You can view the review booking in the PNR by selecting Star RB or Display Review Booking. The review booking can easily be amended or removed by selecting the review booking prompt. Select the item you wish to edit. In this case, we'll remove the review booking for the 5th of November. Again, you must click on save to complete the action. Notepads are added in a similar way. Click on add and now type in the remarks text. Once the appropriate text has been added, click on Save. To view this in the booking, click on Display NP. To edit or remove a notepad, you can now click on Note. You can make amendments to the text. or highlight the option and click on Remove. Again, select Save to complete. Other p &R remarks are added in a similar way. Just remember, first click Add and always save to complete the action.